Let's talk tools. How is this different than anything else that's out there? First of all, they're in this great little carrying case, right? When you invest in tools, you want to make sure they're well taken care of. So I always put mine back in this uh, felted case. But let's talk about some of the differences between these and others that are out there. These are the duck bills. Now, normally you might be like, mm, okay, a duck bill is a duck bill, a duck bill. Oh, no. No, 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 it's not. Because look, these are other scissors. Again, I'm not going to name the brand, but these are scissors that I've had. Okay. They're extremely dull at this point. It doesn't create hand fatigue because they're so light and easy to use. The duck bill on it. Okay. Look at this duck bill. The duck bill, can you tell how thick this duck bill is here? We asked the company to make them thinner. All right. So the duck bill is thinner, which means you're going to get a better, closer cut. Okay. This is the competitors, right? Nice little holes. This is the Kimberbell ones. Those larger finger holes are so awesome for everybody's hands. Look how long this is here. I like how short ours is here because this is very heavy to cut. And I feel like the longer this part is, it's the heavier and it's less control. Ours, shorter in length here, um, closer cut, easier to control, lighter. Micro tips are perfect. They, they're extremely sharp right up to the very micro tip. So when would you use these? Okay. First of all, they also have the big rings, which I love. Say, for example, you're cutting around an applique and you're going into what I would call a valley, okay? A valley is like picture heart, right? And when you get up around and you go into the valley, you need some little micro tips to get in there and cut that fabric, okay? That, my friends, makes this a really special uh, tool as well. Think about how many times, if we're even like going around scallops, Okay, again, valleys, you take your little micro tips and you go right in there and it, it because it's sharp to the very tip, you're going to get a really good cut. This is tweezers. If you have jump stitches and if you try to cut those jump stitches with just scissors, you're never going to get a really close cut and you're going to see little tails. What these tweezers do is look how sharp that is right up to the very point here is how this is different from this there are four blades on all sides of this okay when you go to slide this under and you continue sliding it under it cuts your jump thread with one tool so it cuts the one side but then it has a, a little tail right all you do is now use the tweezer portion of this you grab the thread and it literally is not going to get out of this grip. This is such a tight grip that that thread is going to stay in place. And then you take your micro tips, kind of like performing surgery. You take your micro tips and you just slide it under there and you snip it. And finally, if you think snips are the same as any other snips out there, nope. <laughs> we wanted to make these different. We wanted to make these unique, right? So here's, here's another version I've had. Okay. This is the Kimberbell version. I want you to look immediately what the difference is. Do you see that? Kimberbell version, another version out there. Okay. This is different. These flexi snips are different because look at the length, first of all of these blades and they've got like a little bit of like serration is that even a word serrated um on the sides too so it's going to get a nice grip on your fabric and it is sharp so it is going to give you a very clean cut and because they're like these flexi flexible scissors um talk about you know people who have arthritis 
this is good. This is really good for us to have because, or just hand fatigue, you're doing a lot of cutting. Use these because boy, look at the bounce on there. And that's the same with this. Like I said, some things are similar, but the reason why these are different and better, I would say, is because it's longer from the base to the very tip and it's sharper, okay? This very small, base to tip. So you, that means you're cutting a lot more, which means a lot more hand fatigue, right? This is just cuts like butter, <laughs> right? <laughs>